here. What's up, everyone? Jeff the Hop Canadian. Doing a new, uh, new segment that I just thought about recently, the other day, actually. Uh, the segment is called uh, Doing the Dishes with Jeff. So I'm in my kitchen. I've got my nice chair behind me. And uh, I've got my sink full of hot water. And uh, I've got my rag here. Got some bread behind me. Some chocolate uh, turnovers and some nice buns from uh, Cobb's Bakery. Uh, you can probably hear it in the background. Uh, Kitty Mama is uh, talking to uh, my mother in law. So they're having a conversation. And yeah. Abigail and Emily are talking with Grandma. Cat needs wet food. Kitty cat, Mercedes. Mercedes is the only one that eat, eats the wet food here. So, hey, what's going on, Aaron? Welcome. First time I've done a live stream in my uh, forever since I've done. Um, thought about just pro this uh, concept of doing a, a live stream while I'm doing the dishes or doing doing cleaning or something. So don't mind me if I'm not looking at the camera. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to see see the chat as much, but I'm doing very well. Aaron, how are you, my friend? It's always uh, nice to see your comments on my videos. Um, it's always nice to read them. Hope you had a hope you had a great week, and hope you're having a, a relaxing weekend. I know it's the weekend right now. It's Friday. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, guys, uh, you know, lots lots been going on. Um, uh, in my life, um, still off work. Um, I I could have gone back, uh, but I've been dealing with a lot a lot of health issues with, with my uh, myself. Um, and with also mental health issues. Um, you guys know, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I deal with uh, anxiety and depression. I'm on medication currently still for it. Um, but uh, I'm also dealing right now with a lot of pain in my hands so is, and my back. My back has been really bugging me. My leg also. Um, I have to go and I have to go get some blood work done from the for the doctor. And, uh, I, 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 I to be honest, I haven't been really taking care of myself as, as much as I should be. Um, which is that I I've got a bike I haven't even used. Because I just have no no gumption, no motivation uh, to use it. Um, I bought necessities for it so I could, you know, I have a mirror now. I have a holder that works for my phone so I could do that. I have I have a helmet coming. I had to order one on Amazon because I couldn't find one in any any of the stores here. So I got one coming. Um, but yeah, I just I I I have all these plans of things I want to do. And uh, it's just, things aren't going all that great right now. Um, the issue with my hands is, um, I think it's carpal tunnel. Um, or like severe nerve. It's something. It's definitely something because my hands are like really fine for one minute. And then instantly they go numb. They tingle. They're painful. Um, it hurts to put them in a fist. just hurts to do anything. Um, and because of COVID, um, I had an appointment at the hospital back in May that I was supposed to go and get a, a test done on them. And that got canceled because of COVID, so they were supposed to reschedule. But uh, now that things are slowly opening up here in Ontario, uh, things are starting to slowly open up and return, um, return to opening. Video uh, your uh, um, I'm hoping to get another appointment to see the hospital, get this test done on my hands, find out exactly what's going on, if it is actually carpal tunnel. The doctors think it is. No, you don't go outside. Go, go in the living room. This is what it's like every day. Go in the living room. It's freaking like 40 degrees out today and they want to go outside every day. Best, the best place to be is inside when it's where the air conditioning is, because you can't go anywhere. Else. So it's constant, constantly bickering, 
constant attitude coming from them. It's just drives me and Kitty Mama nuts. You guys who have kids, you guys, if you have young kids, especially one that has ADHD, Abigail, you guys know that, right? So, a bit, uh, it's on a whirlwind. So, yeah, I, I, like I said, I was supposed to go back. I, I could have gone back. I, I got, I got asked, but I just, I can't do it. I can't be at work doing my, my thing and then have my hands go numb and I drop a, a pan or pick up a box and have the box drop. I, I just don't feel safe doing it. Plus, my stress, my stress level hasn't been all that great either. Um, like mental health issues and stuff. That hasn't been good either. Um, had a convert, had a phone, uh, over the phone appointment with my doctor. And, uh, I'm still on my medication that I take. Which is normal. So, Zombie Slayer Hunter, hello, hello, my friend, welcome. I haven't seen you in such a long time. Nice to see you in the live stream. I know it's been a long time since I've done any content, uh, like like regular content. I know my my my. Uh, I just haven't had motivation. That's what it is. I haven't had motivation to do anything. I know the time. I could. I've had plenty of time to do anything, but I just have no motivation to do anything. Um, but uh, yeah, recently I was just like, you know what? I know that doing um, uh, doing live stream, doing the vlog, that was a good thing for me when I was doing it regularly. Hey, hey Jeff, happy post kid, happy post kid, how do you do? Nice to see. You. Look at this old familiar faces coming into the live stream. This is great. I've missed you guys. I've, I have. I, I know it's been a while, and it's been a long time since I've done uh, anything. And uh, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm not around and I just, just, so much stuff has been going on. And that's all, uh, all the COVID-19 related, um, loss of family, uh, you know, we've got my dad, like my dad passed away. I'm still dealing with that. And, that one's gonna hurt for a lot of time, uh, and then my aunt and uncle, great aunt and uncle, sorry, and then my father-in-law. It's just all like basically you know, like months of each other, and then hit with COVID and being off work, and then having the kids who have been home all the time trying to do things with them, and it's just been, uh, it's been, it's been crazy. And, uh, I I apologize to all of you. I apologize to all the happy crew members who have been with me for the longest time. And to those who have just just subscribed, because I've seen there's a couple of people who have subscribed. Um, thank you so much uh, for sticking with me. Uh, and wondering how I am. I've gotten messages uh, via emails and I've gotten some postcards. Uh, <clears throat> Facebook messages and Instagram and Twitter messages and just what everyone's wondering how I'm doing and stuff so I do appreciate that and uh, uh, how are the kids reacting they miss their friends they miss their friends they miss the normal the normal scheduling the routine um, uh, being able to go outside, being able to go to the park, being able to play in the park, uh, not knowing what's going to happen the next day, because you know when everything was locked down, we could we didn't know what we were going to do. Um, we had originally planned a, a trip. We were going to do a road trip this year to the east coast of Canada. We were going to drive up to PEI. Um, that got canceled because everything, everything. So we're able. We weren't able to do that, so. Uh, but yeah, you know, we've been playing a lot of board games, family games, uh, trying to stay off the TV a lot, trying to stay away from social medias and uh, computer tablets and, and uh, going for drives, uh, but not getting out of the car, only having one person uh, going out places, which mostly it was me. So <laughs> stressful wearing a mask and that's the norm. So it's a thing. I hope you guys have all been uh, doing good. I hope you guys, have, if, if you're a Canadian and you're from Canada, I hope you guys all had a good Canada day. 
um, Burlington, where I'm from here, is uh, they did like uh, uh, they did an online virtual virtual uh, party. So we got to watch uh, some some Burlington uh, groups talk about uh, First Nations. Um, we had we watched the First Nations. Um, some crash things like a drumming group, Burlington Tea Tour Band. Oh, nice. He drove across Canada, had the place to my spot. See, we were going to do that, but then because we live in Ontario, we have the border. The border was closed to Quebec, so we couldn't go, we couldn't go through Quebec to get to, uh, to the East Coast. So we're hoping that maybe next year, uh, next year we'll be able to do it, uh, depending, but, uh, not too sure. We're not. We're really not too sure what's gonna, what's gonna happen. Um, we might even just stay in Ontario and do something in Ontario. Uh, go camping somewhere. Uh, there's lots of places in Ontario which we haven't been to. So, especially like up north, uh, like, uh, going up towards Algonquin. I've I've been there like a long time ago. But, uh, so we might go up there. Maybe we'll do. Uh, uh, some of the provincial parks. Um, but that just, yeah, Northern Ontario, Northern Ontario kind of stuff. Um, or maybe even go out like Eastern Ontario, like towards uh, Belleville, Kingston, Ottawa. Um, maybe get up there sometime. I'm um, trying to maybe stay in Ontario for now, and then maybe next year we'll uh, be able to do, plan our trip. How, it all depends on too if we can get the van. Uh, we take the van there. Uh, we're gonna drive. I'm not sure. Yes, Kenora. I I went there a long time ago when I was uh, when I was younger. Great, great fishing too. I remember uh, my mom's uh, <clears throat> my mom's ex-husband uh, taking us fishing and uh, caught some bass and stuff. So. Yeah, I'm just doing, just washing some dishes. That's what I'm doing right now. Just wanted to come on and just make a quick, quick live stream because I know I haven't done any. I don't even remember. I think the last video I posted was maybe like a drone video or something, or it might have been like the birthday drive-by that Emily had. It was, around, it was one of those, one of those videos, quick videos. So. We'll definitely, uh, we'll see um, what other kind of live streams we can get into when uh, I have to do more dishes. <laughs> right now I'm just doing, uh, just doing this, this sink full here. So once this is done, which I'm almost done, then we're going to be uh, chilling out. Um, Michael for it's still daylight here. It's after 7, which is pretty cool. Eight. So we might go for a nice evening drive, Friday drive, maybe go get some ice cream or something. I don't know. All depends on how uh, Kitty Mama's feeling. But I want, uh, I think this will be a cool thing. Um, I am usually the one that does the dishes. Um, once the kids are older and they're able to do the dishes, then they'll be the ones doing the dishes. But this will be a cool way to come out here, chat with you guys, um, give you guys an update on how things are going. Um, Hopefully onwards and upwards are better. Um, once I can get into the hospital and get this test done on my hands, I can find out exactly what is wrong with them. And right now too, they're starting to go to tingling like right on my fingertips. So take a break. I usually have to stretch them out, shake them off, and then the feeling comes back. It's really annoying, uh, especially when I'm doing something. If like I'm doing the dishes, vacuuming, doing or folding laundry, it's the worst. I've had my phone in my hand for too long. Um, it does it that way as well. So I'm using my Joby uh, tripod and I have a little attachment for my phone to sit in. So I'm using that a lot. To... Yeah, it's in both. It's in both hands. That's why I hate it. It's, 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 if it was in one hand, I could, I could deal with it. But because it's in both and the pain is intense on both hands, um, I just have to get... The, the okay to go and get this testing done. So, All right. Enjoy the show. 
But yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, you guys, for coming in here. I know was, I'm only rambling right now, but if you're watching this in the, when it's uploaded. Uh, thank you so much for, like I said earlier, sticking with me and uh, and uh, reaching out to those who have reached out and asked how I've been doing. It really means a lot. Um, it's greatly appreciated. It's nice to get like nice uplift because right now, like a lot of my like a lot of family. On my side, I haven't really talked to because they don't really talk to me. So for some reason, my mom I talked to her once, and that was um, <clears throat> when my uncle passed away, and then I haven't talked to her since. So not too sure what's going on. But uh, and my sister's been busy; she's uh, doing PSW, so she's got her thing going. She's dealing with the COVID situation on the front line there, so. Much love to my sister. I know she sometimes watches some of the videos, so she sees this one. Love you, sis. And uh, you guys, thank you so much for coming in here. And finished my first, I finished the sink load of dishes today. Um, when I have some more dishes, I will do some more live streaming. You guys all take care. Thanks so much. Be happy, stay happy, be safe, everybody. You guys, thank you so much for coming to the live stream. And uh, have a great weekend. And if, you're, if you got summer conditions, enjoy it. Be safe. Uh, don't forget the sunscreen. Uh, don't forget your sunglasses, because I've done that a couple times already. And I don't know if you can see, but I have the round, like the, the roundness on my eyes from not having my sun, uh, from wearing. Them. So sorry, not having sunscreen on. I've had the glasses on. So that's what I meant to say. Uh, I'm gonna sign off. We're gonna chill out and. Talk to you guys later. Peace out, everybody. Bye for now.